Boom! I'm a little bit red, but that will not stop me from covering SmackDown and giving my SummerSlam predictions for tomorrow. Let's get it! Fortunately, this week I'm not gonna cover SmackDown in detail because I don't want the video to be like 20 minutes. So I'm gonna rapid fire throw the things that were kind of interesting in SmackDown and I'm just gonna hop over to my predictions and why you should tune in for tonight for SummerSlam. First off, why do we have a match between LA Knight and Sheamus? Uh, last week I thought that this match is for them qualifying in the Battle Royale, why they're having a match if they're already qualified, why we're doing this. After that we had the OC versus the Brawling Brutes and the interesting part there was that we saw the new Street Profits. Angelo Dawkins was in a suit, does not look great, uh, but I'm excited for next week what's in store for them. Austin Theory vs Cameron Grimes. I really don't like how a person like Cameron Grimes left everything on the mat. Like he did like three signature moves and they were all amazing. He couldn't pin Austin Theory, but after that Theory just made his version of go to sleep and he just pinned Cameron Grimes. I'm not saying that Cameron Grimes should win this match. Uh, but I I would love for Austin Theory to make a little bit more moves other than his finisher to beat Cameron Grimes. Grayson Waller effect was interesting this time actually because uh, damage control was there. We had a nickname for Mrs. Money, Money in the Bank. It is Genius in the Bank and I love it. We saw the new Shotzi look. It looks good. Um, I, I think I prefer her new look other than the look with the green hair. I'm not sure about it. And the main event of SmackDown was Jey Uso vs Solo Sikoa. It, there was an interesting thing in the middle of the night between them. And uh, right now I kind of don't get it why there is a match, why they're exhausting Jey Uso before his match. And the fact that Jey Uso won his match kind of annoys me a little bit because that means that he will probably not win tomorrow. Like, come on. They're doing this every time. Like, they're doing a con match with the challenger the night before the pay-per-view. He gets so much heat because he won, but after that he he just uh, lose. But they're making the previous match so he can lo look strong. Stop doing this. I mean, we know your scheme and it's not cool. We want to see Jay win, but we know that it's not gonna happen, unfortunately. So, let's start with the SummerSlam predictions and why you should tune in. What am I doing with my hand? Stop. Stop. Well, the first thing that we're probably gonna see is the Slim Beam or whatever that is, uh, Battle Royale. I don't, know what's, I don't know what's the purpose of that Battle Royale and why do we have a Battle Royale instead of having, for example, Trish and Becky and what the winner is gonna win? I don't know. After that, MMA Rules match, Ronda Rousey versus Shayna Baszler is gonna be a heater. And I think that Shayna Baszler is gonna win. She is, she deserves it, and she is gonna gain some heat. And hopefully, she's not gonna lose that heat. And probably Ronda Rousey is gonna leave. Did I just say Ronda Rousey? Ronda Rousey is gonna leave after this match. So that's why my prediction is that Shayna Baszler is gonna. When. Ricochet versus Logan Paul. I'm gonna tell you, I'm super hyped about this match. Their history started at the beginning of the year at the Royal Rumble when they both springboard jumped in midair and collided. After that, they had some history at Money in the Bank. I think the match would be spectacular. They're gonna come up with some crazy shit, and I'm really excited to see it. 
And my guess is that Ricochet is gonna win. He needs the win way more than Logan does. Intercontinental Championship match. Drew McIntyre versus Gunther. It pains me to say this, but Gunther is gonna win, unfortunately. I don't know who is the person who should dethrone Gunther, but obviously he has some momentum going on and I don't think that Drew McIntyre is gonna be the person who stops him. I guess that after Drew McIntyre, Chad Gable will be the next in line because they had an amazing match on Raw. Honestly, I don't know. It feels super cool Sheamus to be the guy who dethrones him because Sheamus has a lot of titles and a lot of accomplishments, but he doesn't have an Intercontinental Championship run. A lot of people online guess that a Miz would be a great match, but it's not gonna be the guy who dethrones him. I don't know. I don't know who should dethrone him, but my guess is that Gunther is gonna win. Cody Rhodes versus Brock Lesnar is the third match uh, in their series. The first match was at... I don't remember their history, but the first match was won by Cody. The second match uh, Brock uh, broke Cody's arm prior to their match and Brock won the match and now this is their third match and Honestly, I think Cody should win and my prediction is that Cody will win because honestly Brock is Brock, but Cody is trying to write some story down He's trying to finish some story down and I guess that's gonna help his story Otherwise, it's gonna be a complete flop, that whole story thing. WWE Women's Championship match. Asuka versus Bianca Belair versus Charlotte Flair. I think Charlotte Flair is gonna win that one because there are rumors online that Charlotte Flair is gonna be the one who's gonna surpass John Cena and Ric Flair's championship records. I guess they're trying to push that 17 time champ thing before Ric Flair just passes away. <laughs> it, oh, it sounds so bad, but he's an old guy and uh, I guess it's gonna be a really good moment when she reaches that 17th reign, he to be in the ring, John Cena to be in the ring, and everything to be wholesome, so I guess she's gonna win. Does that make any sense for Bianca Belair? Does that make any sense for Oscar? Does that make any sense for WWE? I guess not, but there is a record that I guess we're trying to break. So my pick is Charlotte Flair. WWE World Heavyweight Championship match. Seth Rollins versus Finn Balor. I personally want Finn Balor to win. But I know very well that Seth Rollins is gonna win. I've been backstage, no, just my pick is gonna be Seth Rollins. Uh, the rivalry... I cannot say that word even if my life depends on it. That rivalry goes seven years back when the Universal Championship is introduced. Finn Balor and Seth Rollins are in the finals of who is gonna win the Universal Championship for the first time. Finn Balor wins, but Seth Rollins injures him during the match and basically Finn Balor is a champion for one day and he needs to relinquish the title the next day. And now it's a full circle moment, kind of. A lot of people speculate that this is the reason why Finn Balor will win, because it's a full circle moment and it's gonna be really cool to see the Judgment Day all holding something like uh, Finn the title, Rhea the title, Dominic the NXT title, and Damian the briefcase. Well, I don't know. My pick is gonna be Seth Rollins because the title needs more building. It's not a really well-established title and I feel like if he continues to hold the title and he has a little bit more defenses, maybe it's gonna be a little bit more established than it is now. This is the only reason. Not that the Finn cannot establish the title, but I don't know. It's gonna be really heavy on him. Another thing that you should consider is that there are a lot of podcasts that Seth Rollins says he, that he needs surgery on his knee because his knee is not on 100%. So maybe it's a good time to give the title to Finn Balor and for him to be away for some time and have his surgery and all of that good stuff, but... Still, my pick is Seth freaking Rollins. Tribal Combat for the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship Jey Uso vs Roman Reigns. And my pick 
with a lot of pain is Roman Reigns. Even though it's gonna be a really good moment to see Jay win, and it's gonna be kind of a full circle. People are saying that it's a full circle moment, but it's th this is not where the circle starts from, basically. Uh, in my opinion, it's gonna be really cool to see Jay win. I'm not gonna lie. Even if my prediction is not true, I'm really gonna be happy. But as I said in a previous video, I even have a short on the topic. I feel like Bray Wyatt is gonna be the guy who is gonna come back full force, gonna attack Roman the way Roman attacked him three years ago. He's gonna tear the house down and he's gonna take his championship back. He's gonna be super dominant. And after that, Roman is gonna still be Roman. Bray is gonna be super strong looking and they both will be able to build whoever they decide to be the next generation of superstars. So this is my SummerSlam prediction video and I hope I made you stay till the end and I hope you will watch the show with me tonight and I'm gonna see you tomorrow when I tell you what I liked and what I dislike about SummerSlam 2023, the biggest party of the summer. Take care, have a good night, I love you, peace.